know your face. You're wanted by the board. Wow. You're a living, breathing outlaw. That is, until security outside gets their eyes on you, but let's not spoil the moment. If you're here for the annual Canid review, I'm afraid it's already over. Only thing going on behind those doors is good, old-fashioned, lawful behavior. This greeting constitutes your confidentiality agreement. You hereby agree not to disclose the location or existence of these events. Thank you for cooperating. Oh, that's just so encouraging to hear. I'll just go ahead and add your comment to my permanent record. Now then, how can I help you? Mr. Mostly is indeed attending our event, although I am disappointed to discover he did not officially enter his canid Laplace into our competition. You should find Mr. Mostly just inside the prep room. Head inside and take the door to your left. We find that our clients enjoy the appearance of participating in illegal activities. Secrecy contributes to a feeling of indecency. The Musgrave family collection was intended to be a gallery of fine art. And here we are, using this place to practice semi-legal canid shows. Scandalous, isn't it? That's privileged information. I really shouldn't tell you. That's a fair point. All right, I'll tell you. But just keep this between us. The Musgraves own one of Earth's largest private collections of art and literature. They were going to have the entire collection shipped all the way to Halcyon. Unfortunately, that collection never arrived. We haven't heard anything from the delivery convoy, and there's some purely hypothetical concern that the collection might be, well, I was going to say indefinitely delayed by unforeseen and unknowable circumstances, but yes, let's go with that. Anyway, that's as much as I can tell you. Oh, just hear me out. It's a brilliant idea. Hey, Maverick Johnston's newest star, I've got a question for you. Do you know the interesting thing about canid shows? Oh, but there is, if one possesses an eye for statistics. Mathematically speaking, the interesting thing about canid shows is this. They're an exercise in futility. Winning is predetermined. Over time, the inevitable trend is that the race goes to the swift. Time and chance are just statistical outliers. In other words, if you put enough canids through enough trials, the one with the most optimal attributes generally wins. Exercise in futility. What gave me away? Wait, don't tell me. You've read my monograph, putting the us in calculus, or how to use mathematics to find your statistically significant other. I'm afraid I don't really do autographs, but yes, I am Clarence Mostly. Yes, that's us. Mostly oak trees, too. My grandfather invented them, you know. Well, no, he didn't invent mostly oaks, but he did purchase the naming rights back during the terraforming days. It's essentially the same thing. Oh. <clears throat> then you're not here about my monograph. It's true, I was involved with Project Gorgon, but that chapter of my life is long since closed. Listen, I don't know what you want with Gorgon or with me, but let me give you some free advice, hmm? Let the past go. Live in the moment. Enjoy the party. Let me hazard a guess. 
You didn't listen then, and you're not about to listen now. Someone with resources. Security countermeasures require a special override. Whoever locked down the facilities must have been watching you. Lifting the lockdown won't be easy. You'll need to send overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. I don't have that level of clearance, but I know two people who do. The trouble is, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I washed my hands of Gorgon, and you're asking me to dirty them all over again. I'm going to need a good reason. Why are you going through all of this trouble for a journal? Actually, don't tell me. I'd like to maintain plausible deniability. I want a favor from you. Do something for me, and I'll do something for you. That way, we don't have to rely on mutual trust. The grand prize trophy to the Canid Review. I want it in my hands. Get me that trophy, and I'll give you the remaining researchers. Names, locations, as much information as I have. My Canid, Laplace, is statistically superior to every other Canid in this review. Better average sprinting time, superior gait coefficient, optimal anatomical symmetry. I didn't bother entering little Laplace in this pointless contest. He's already won on paper, you see. That trophy rightfully belongs to him. Head into the main hall and take the elevator down into the maintenance tunnels. You'll find a service passage that leads up into the trophy room. The maintenance tunnel is the only way up into the trophy room. Some technician barred the door shut on our end. Ask Tilda Coatsworth about it, over by the podium. What's on your mind? At the moment, nothing. I have a one-track mind. I can't stop thinking about that trophy. Why isn't it in my hands? When is it going to be? You? My eye! I was wondering where I'd misplaced that old thing. It's perfectly preserved, you know. Every eye possesses unique dimensions, not unlike a fingerprint. The circumference, the shape, the color of the iris. An eye makes excellent proof of identification, assuming you don't mind removing one. I'd rather not get into the details. If Spacer's Choice ever asks you to test out their new model of monocle, just say no. Well, that's rather responsible of you. I'll put a good word in your permanent record. What's on your mind? Canid hunting I object to, it's the impropriety. Processing. Oh. 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 
If there's one thing I've learned traveling with you, it's that theft is but a state of mind. Come now, Anubis, you must perk up. You don't have to be scared of these canids, Captain. I don't think they're gonna hurt you. You'd only be letting them into this entrance temporarily. You know, the careers of 9 out of 13 actors end after their debut serial. Dead canids in the service tunnels. Domesticated canids? Why, that's utterly revolting. Frankly, it doesn't matter to me if they were domesticated or feral. Feral canids are like the unemployed. Their existence implies the need for a loving master. Every canid, regardless of their physical attributes, is a companion to their master. To kill a companion is a profound and unforgivable breach of trust. I'm glad I chose not to participate in this loathsome canid review. I will, however, take their trophy. My trophy! Look at this thing! Have you ever seen a more garish monument to the boredom of the elite? If only Grandfather Mosley were alive today, I would have loved to wave this trophy right in front of his cataracts. I hope you won't take it personally when I say I had my doubts about you. Nothing ever gets done in Byzantium, you see. Competent work is, well, a statistical anomaly. Lifting the emergency lockdown requires overrides from the Chem Lab and Human Inquiry. 
Access to those facilities requires authorizations from two senior level researchers, Marion Blakesley, Jasper Lowe. They went into hiding after the project collapsed, but I've managed to calculate their last known whereabouts within a reasonable margin of error. I see you're familiar with my technique. I'd love to show you my numbers, but there aren't nearly enough napkins in this room. After the project shut down, I had to keep my mind occupied. I worked on my actuarial tables, calculated the average lifespan of a spacer's choice worker, that sort of thing. I realized some of the researchers had to be alive. I ran some numbers, did a little research, and concluded that the two most likely survivors are Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe. As far as I know, Jasper Lowe and Marion Blakesley are the only two surviving researchers with high-level clearance. If you want to lift the lockdown on the manufactory, you'll need to send an override from the Chem Lab and Human Inquiry. I'm afraid it's the only way. I'll tell you what I can. Dr. Marion Blakesley supervised the Human Inquiry and Auditing Facility. Live subjects, measuring tape and syringes, that sort of thing. Someone sabotaged the facility. Blakesley tended her resignation and vanished. I'm reasonably certain she's hiding in a maintenance bay on Groundbreaker. Well, with Spacer's Choice Equipment, who even knows? Dr. Blakesley tendered her resignation lawfully, but under suspicious circumstances. If you want to know more, you'd best ask her yourself. Dr. Lowe described himself as a dazzling genius in his review. I disagreed. Of the 19 criteria that constitute the rubric of genius, Dr. Lowe only met 15. After the project shut down, corporate traded him off to anti-Clio in exchange for five lab coats. He's been transferred to an orbital lab around Olympus. Oh dear. How do I explain this without using too many syllables? Lab coats means scientists. Let's get back on topic. Try to exercise caution. It's good for your lifespan. Someone has left a threatening message on your terminal, Captain. I was unable to trace its origin. Please make a note of it.
Let's try being friendly. Maybe they'll try it back. Over. Hey, you! You serious? Get back here! So, uh, hey, you trespass, and I'm armed. Maybe take a second look at your life choices, pal. Yeah, I know that lady. I know she's looking for, uh, solitude. She hired us to make sure no one comes sniffing around. Guess that's bad news for your plan there. What, after five years? Pretty sure she's serious about a little stint in solitary. Anyway, Blakesley's given us standing orders to strongly discourage anyone who tries to come in. I like to, uh, extrapolate from there. This deal with Blakesley's pretty sweet. We get paid, and we get fresh greens every week. My gums never looked healthier. What? You need directions or something? Oh yeah? Well, I'm paid to make sure you don't do that. Stolen items, movers. What do you think you're doing? Suspicion levels minimal. Carry on. Some days, it's like I don't know what to do with myself. Come on, this is great. We don't have to beat up miscreants for them anymore. We can beat up miscreants for ourselves.
kidding me. I thought I made myself quick. Wait, what's with this camera? Hello? Damn it. Look, I get it. Some people need things spelled out for them. I'm sure one of the auto mechanicals can explain. Observation log. Date. Well, never mind. Hybridization efforts have proven successful, and the nursery's yield is improving steadily. Observation log. Date. Well, never mind. Hybridization efforts have proven successful, and the nursery's yield is improving steadily. Meanwhile, the psychological benefits of gardening are difficult to assess without a control group. Subjective reflection suggests minor gains in memory retention and contentment. 